Max. I don't want to see Mr. Beale after this. The way I hear it, Max, you are primarily responsible for this colossally stupid prank. Is that the fact, Max? That's the fact. It was unconscionable. Doesn't seem to be anything more to say. I have something to say, Ed. I want to know why that whole debasement of the news division announced at the stockholders meeting this afternoon was kept secret from me. You and I go back 20 years, Ed. I took this job with your personal assurance that you'd back my autonomy against any encroachment. But ever since CCA acquired control of UBS systems 10 months ago, Hackett's been taking over everything. Now, who the hell is running this network? You or some conglomerate called CCA? I mean, you're president of the systems group, and Hackett's nothing but a hatchet man for CCA. Nelson here, president of a network, and he hasn't a damn thing to say about anything anymore. I told you at the stockholders' meeting, Max, that we would discuss all that at our regular meeting tomorrow morning. If you had been patient, I would have explained that I, too, thought Frank Hackett precipitated and that the reorganization of the news division would not be executed until everyone, specifically you, Max, had been consulted and satisfied. Instead, you sulked off like a child and engaged this network in a shocking and disgraceful episode. Your position is no longer tenable, regardless of how management is restructured. I will expect your resignation at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, and we will coordinate our statements to the least detriment of everyone.